around the world, bass players around Michigan, Detroit bass players, Pennsylvania bass players, <laughs> bass players that ain't even picked up a bass yet. <laughs> and before the day is over, bass players is going to put the bass down. <laughs> Welcome to the basement. That's B-A-S-S-M-I-N-T. We got with us, us. Tell us your name, sir. Mike Harrington. Mike Harrington. My man, Mike Harrington. Man. Man, we go way back, but let me, yes, before we start doing this quick little interview with you, because he got to catch a plane, let's introduce the rest of the bass players and the panelists in the basement, so starting on my on my uh, left, we got, tell us your name, sir. Gabriel Severin. Gabriel Severin, all the way from Pennsylvania, hey. man. Hey. Hey. Half of these people came to see you, man. So, uh, you gonna let me do an interview with you? <laughs> All right, we're gonna do you right after we do Mike. You, you notice how fast I'm talking? I don't usually talk this fast. You notice that? <laughs> All right, next to him is his mom. Tell us your name. Hi, I'm Beth. Thank, thank you for bringing Gabe all the way to the basement. Yeah, thank welcome. you so much. And next to her, we got another okay. bass player. Tell us your name. I'm Charles Folks. Charles Folks, first time in the basement. Welcome to the <laughs> basement, brother. Thank you. Next to him, tell us your name. Jimmy Williams. William, that's the same last name I got. You think I know you? Yeah, <laughs> my uncle. Oh, okay. <laughs> she's a, a violinist, and she's uh, want to start playing. She want to start playing the bass. That's why she's in the basement today. And next to her is tell us your name. Uh, baby boy Bob. <laughs> that's that's her father, my brother. And going this way, we got what is tell us your name, Mr. Steve Burkhoff. Steve Burkhoff of Steve Bass Burkhoff. Gear. I mean, <laughs> Burke Halter of Bass Gear Magazine. He's also a Detroit bass player. We already did an interview with him, alumni. Happy birthday, belated birthday. Oh, yeah. And I'm posting your interview as uh, soon as I get home. Feel free to hide it. <laughs> I know he wants me, he don't want me to show it. Another uh, Detroit bass, bass player, tell us your name. Don Max. Uh, uh, I still got to get an interview with you in the basement. It's on the way, bro. Another right, Detroit bass player, tell us your name. Uh, William Pope. William Pope, one of our finest Detroit bass players hanging out in the basement. Pope's style. Yeah. Pope yeah, thank you. <laughs> Pope Natic. Exactly. <laughs> Pope and Circumstance. Pope Tastic. Pope Tastic. There we go. Also, uh, uh, new in the basement. Chris Snyder. Uh, Chris Snyder, another uh, Detroit, Detroit bass player in the basement. You ever watched it before? Yes, sir. Thank you for coming to the basement. Thank you. Also have it with us. Tell us your name. Eric Markley. Eric William Markley. That's right. Because That's right. my name is Ivan Eric Williams. That's wow. cool. That's, That's why right. I remember I that. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Thank you for oh. Me. I, 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 ooh, y'all don't see that brother right there. That's my man right there. Tell us your name. Uh, my name is Alan Evans. The yeah. gospel yeah. sensation, yeah. first call brother in Detroit. Man, you gotta let me get an interview, man. Yes, you ain't gotta catch no plane tonight, right quick, dude. No, Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hurry up and get Mike. Also hanging out with us is another. He, you been here, but I gotta get that interview, uh, Eric. And uh, yes, tell us your name. Skip Simons. Uh, uh, born and raised. Michigan. We're, we're going to get the interview. You're going to tell us the whole story, all right? Okay. That's, what, that's what this is about. My goal is to interview every single last Detroit bass player, even though I don't, I'm not going to ever achieve that goal. I'm going to keep reaching for it. And, and, um, I'm, I'm on a swivel chair in case y'all wonder how I'm doing this. <laughs> also, we got what us tell us your name. Big Papa. Big Papa. Tony Moe, a Detroit bass player in the basement, alumni. We've already interviewed him. You gotta check it out. It is hilarious. You gotta check it out, I swear. So, uh, 
Thank all of you for coming. Thank those who watch this all over the world, man. We up to like 999,000 views wow. on YouTube. We almost at a million, and for us, that's, that's awesome. And Mike, I think you're gonna put us right at a million, man. Yeah. <laughs> 3,500 3, subscribers. And so I want to thank everybody who watched this. Uh, oh, I forgot to introduce you. The the, the man and oh, make this me. all possible. Yeah. Reginald Canty, the host, thank you. Thank you for allowing us in your basement. Mike Harrington, man. First question, man. First question. First question. I'd like to ask you mm -hmm. is when did you start playing the bass and why? Uh inherited my father's bass and um, it was, I was about kind of late, about 14, 13, 14 when I started. And uh, just just because you inherited? Yeah, it was there in the basement. So I just picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> My brother actually picked it up first and learned a few songs and I was impressed with him playing. So I uh, started right after that. You you know what's crazy, man, is uh six or seven or eight years ago somebody I, I used to live in Cleveland. I'm from Detroit, but I lived in Cleveland a lot of years. And I was coming back home, and I used to practice my butt off, and, and I would say, I'm coming back home. Where is the spots to hit? Because I'm coming, I'm about to come do my thing back home in Detroit. And it's like, you can go to the limit. I'm like, where's that up? They're like, off of eight miles. But but they ain't, they ain't playing in there. They playing. You know, it's a difference, right? All right. And I was like, I went in there and I, I got up and played. I played Reach For It. And um, and then Mike came up to me. They, he was in the house, man. Then he came up to me. He said, that's nice, man. But your strings, you need, to, your action is high. I said, I ain't care about none of that. And until he mentioned that, you know, I was like, my action? Yeah, it is high. <laughs> and my strings was all over the place. And, uh... And then, and then, I guess he he liked it because he started talking to me. I was like, "That's pretty cool." And then he said, uh, "I'm gonna be in Ohio in a couple of days." And um, I was like, "Who you playing with?" He's like, uh, "Alexander Zanjic." I was like, and then he said, "Angela Bofield." I'm like, and then he said, "Jeff Lorber." I was like. If I had known that before I got up and played, I wouldn't even got up and played. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's when I found out about Mike and True. He's like, you come check it out. When he came to Ohio, they played at the zoo. It like it was like a typhoon that day. <laughs> but uh, but he let me hang out with him, and I got to meet Jeff Lorber, which that was awesome, and Angela Bofield and Alex. And I wanted to thank you for that, man. All right. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, so and and, and then and then just to let y'all know some of the other people we play with uh, that I know of, Kim, who's an exciting uh, artist, vocalist, Kajan, he's the music director for Kajan. I've seen him on TV with Sean Kingston in his heyday. You know, when Sean Kingston was the man, the Jamaican dude. This was his music director and. Uh, I mean, the list goes on and on who this guy played with, man. And he just got off the road with uh, uh, Brian Culberson. Mike is like a, a sought-after bassist, man. I don't know how he do it, but this is one of Detroit's finest. One of my favorite bass players out of Detroit. And I've been trying to get him in this basement for four years, and he, he, fi he finally made it. He finally made it. Thank you, Gabe. <laughs> but but uh, so just some of the other people, man. Just give me a, uh, a crew of some of the other people you might have kicked it with. Man, you? I can't even begin to start. Because it's a long list, right? It's a pretty long list, yeah. And, and, and not just performance, but recording. This guy recorded with some of everybody. Uh, I can't even think of half the people, you know, locally, they, uh, Brandon Williams, right? Yeah. And and a whole bunch of people, man. So I'm gonna put up a, a scroll of list up while I'm saying this, cause this is the man right here. <laughs> this is my man. Now, uh, all of those endorsements you got, now you playing the Lakeland. What, what kind of basses do you got and you play and you like to play? Um, I like all bases. Um, yeah, I do have a Lakeland endorsement and so 
here it is. <laughs> <laughs> right, and, and I've seen you with up, uh, uh, F bass, F doors, fenders. I even yeah. sold you a Fender. Yeah. And another thing about this guy, you know, he he helps Detroit bass players out a lot. Yeah. He he helps build bases for them, helps them set them up. And when he's at home, nice guy, man. I'm uh, uh, I have to come over there and help you, let you help me set my Fender up, man. There he is. <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. <laughs> All right, and uh, I want I got I got one more question for you, and I'm uh, ask these people do they have any questions for you. My question is, who are some of your favorite bass players? By you being a bomb. Oh, yeah. Who you, so I'm serious. Who, who are some of your favorite bass players? Uh, you know, the usual suspects. Marcus, uh, Jocko, um, uh, Byron Miller is one of my hmm. favorites. Another Detroit bass player. Yes. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on. Anybody that picked up a bass and sound good is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> This little kid right here, man. Yeah. I was on, the, I was in my tour bus, man, and I'm just mm -hmm. scrolling through videos, and some kind of way it popped up. I'm like, oh my god, this little guy here, this is, you know. So, awesome. yeah, well, we really, go, really nice. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be interviewing him in a minute. Yeah. Um, uh, what you got coming up? I know you' about to hit the road again. What you got coming up? Any solo projects? Who you playing with? Blah blah. Um, not really no solo projects. Um, just whatever's coming is coming. You know, I'm actually leaving to go back out on the road real soon um, with Brian Coberson, and um, that's about it. What's coming up? <laughs> okay. So, Mike, um, in closing, man, is there anything that you like to say in closing before you play us out? Uh, thanks for having me. Another quick answer, one word. <laughs> Just, okay, man, we'll just play us up, man, so we can get to this other interview.